Welcome back to Inside the Idaho Vandals again with head coach Rob Akey. I'm Dennis Patchen. Texas State, new to the conference, new road trip. Who is Texas State? What are they? Texas State's a team that's moving up. You know, they're coming out of, they were in the Southland Conference, moving into the WAC, and they're actually going to continue to move on next year. Uh, this will be our, uh, you know, first time we played them since I've been here. Uh, good football team. They're a physical football team. Uh, the way that they play, they'll play snap to whistle, and they fly around the team field pretty well. They've got a quarterback I think is very athletic. I've got a lot of respect for him. A running back with good wheels. They've got a couple wideouts that, uh, that are making good plays for them. One of them also returns punts and kicks for them. And, uh, you know, they look like a bunch of guys that try to play tough physical football. On the defensive side, I see them swarming to the ball pretty well, and uh, you know they're. Uh, it should be a it should be a well of a football game this week. The dome was full last week. Saw New Mexico State. Your guys, some of your guys have played against them three twice before. Now you play a team that you know you've never played before. It's almost like back. You're out of conference by seeing new faces, new schemes, new coaches, new place to go. But you're still in conference. How, how is the preparation this week going to go as you get ready for a new team, but it's a new team that's in the conference? It's still a conference game, and our guys are going to look at it that way. You know, some of my players may have some familiarity with them. Some of my Texas guys, you know, may know some of those guys. Um, we're watching them on tape against some familiar opponents a little bit. Uh, at this point, I don't really think it matters. We've played people we've never seen before. We've gone to stadiums we've never played in before. It's that just happens to be what we're going to go do it this week. Uh, I think the fact that it is a conference game means a lot to our players. The fact that we've got a streak started, uh, let's look to extend the streak. And, and no different than we went about things a week ago, take it one day at a time so that we can get to the game to play that one particular game. We need to do the same thing now. We need great preparation each day of this week. Um, you know, gain confidence from the win that we've just acquired. Um, but also, you know, we can't sit there and think about that. We need to continue to move on. But I'd like to think as we move on, we'll be doing things with more confidence. Guys will have confidence in the game, but how do you use a win to prepare your team for the next game coming off a victory as opposed to coming off a game where I got to clean some stuff up? Well, I think when you come into when they came in here yesterday, when they come in here to practice tomorrow, I, I think they're they're not carrying the weight of the world with them anymore, and I think that that means an awful lot. You know, I, I felt like it was about about Thursday, probably of last week, where we finally dropped those anchors. I saw guys smiling and the and the uh, the, the excitement and the 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 way that we carried ourselves at the end of the week was so much better than the beginning of the week. And you saw the work be able to help get those things, uh, get that off their minds as we, as we continue to go through it. We should, we're coming into it now with, uh, with a stronger feeling and, uh, you know, having had that success, you're not carrying, you're, you're carrying good feelings with you. And it's, uh, you know, that lifts you up. It's not the anchors that drag you down. So, you know, that's the way you build off of that. As you prepare, we're getting close to the halfway point of the season. As you prepare, what do you want to see out of your team right now as we go into week two of the conference season? What's the area that Rob Akey wants to see more of from his team or, or maybe even less of if it's not a positive? Well, I want to see us continue to grow where we have. And so we operated well as a team together. Uh, you know, we talked about some of the games earlier in the season. We created, uh, we responded to adversity better. We created our own adversity that, that was a little bit too much in a couple of occasions. Uh, all three phases of the game contributed to the success of, uh, you know, the win on Saturday. Being able to build from that, I want to see more of that. I want to see us, uh, we still need to take better care of the football. Don't turn it over. Uh, we learned how to respond to sudden change and, and use that to our advantage. Uh, that needs to continue to be the case. And, and hopefully the, the positive sudden changes are, are the ones that we will create more of. Um, making things happen that benefit our football team and the special teams. And I, I really felt our special teams helped us in that, in that regard. You know, we got the, the points obviously from Trey, but um, you know, our, our kickoff team. You know, we had we kicked off six times. Five of those are what I call tackles for losses. You know, you, you kick the ball in the end zone and they don't bring it out. When, with the new rule, they get it clear up here at the 25. Well, we were able to force them to return the ball. And we started in, inside the 25, every one of those that they had to return. So I, I think that helps uh, helps our defense. And, and I think we can continue to grow in that fashion. You know, we get the... Uh, we get the big play, you know, Parkins covers the, uh, uh, the muff punt that was created with Harris, uh, you know, down there in the guy's face, and he bobbles that. And then the very next play, our offense scores a touchdown. You know, created sudden change, responded well to it. More of those things. And I think as you saw our players fly around, there was, you know, they're jumping up and down, they're hooting and hollering, they're having a good time playing the game. I want to see that development continue to go because as that takes place, those big plays are going to happen more, and, and, and you really do grow as a football team. That's what I want to see our guys, more of our guys. Coming off a loss, sometimes you got to pick guys' chins up preparing for the next game. Don't let last week affect you. Well, how, does that change coming off a win? 
don't let last week affect you this week? Is there do you do you have to do different things when you come off a win as opposed to coming off a loss in preparation for the next week? Well, you you, you don't have to lift them back up, but you also have to make sure that we're not riding on that last play. You know, you, you want to ride on the momentum that is getting built, and that's a good thing. But uh, you you can't let that that momentum be all you think that's going to take care of everything for you so you you gauge it a little bit different as, in regards to you know where do we need to go I, I think that uh, we've got a good way about us right now and by that I mean hey we we accomplished something good we feel good about it uh, I think we still feel like we've got a lot to prove and 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 we've got ourselves in a good situation in regards to the conference race um, where we're at and and paying attention keeping our focus on what we can build in in that fashion understanding you know within it there are things that are correctable uh, things that uh, you know could have cost us I think our guys see that and 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 uh, we can grow about it that way to because it's no different than in, in a play in a ball game you know the the negative ones we talked about but you, you made that big play if you're sitting there thinking about the great play you made last quarter you probably haven't made a play since then uh, you need to wash all of them away and play play where you're at right now and I think making sure we maintain that focus of, of doing everything with a purpose and be in the moment that's the big thing the first place Idaho Vandals will go on the road uh, this week they'll head to uh, Texas to take on Texas State should be an interesting football game. Always a pleasure to talk to you. Glad to see you've got a smile on your face this week. It's nice to be smiling. Go Vandals. <laughs> Beat the Bobcats. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to head to the pool for a little swimming and diving action as the Vandals were uh, competing there. That's next when Inside the Idaho Vandals continues.